Greetings and welcome to the Friday Morning Vodcast podcast. What's your favorite body of water? Good morning, all you Billy Bumblers out there. The answer to that question is none because water is evil. It was a trick question. I got the majority of you, I'm sure. A lot of you are saying, my favorite body of water is a lake. My favorite body of water is the ocean. Stay out of the ocean, kids. It'll kill you. So I thought this morning what might be a fun thing to do was to debunk some more myths. Um, I looked up some scientific myths, and I've looked up some human myths, and I think we're going to go over these lists in just a moment. Some of you are going, hey, shouldn't you be sitting at that other desk and painting the Iron Giant? And to you, I say, I, I, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. I really, I really do. I walk by it every day when I come in here to sit down to start filming these. And I think to myself, boy, I should, I should open that today on the vodcast podcast. Or maybe I should start sanding it today. But I think I want the whole process to be done at that desk. And it's, it's coming. Let's, uh, let's intermingle these uh, because sometimes I get a little off track when I start reading lists and doing things. And, and it, who are you people? What am I doing here? All right, let's look at some physics myth, myths, physics, myths, physics, myths. That's a tongue twister. Say that 72 times fast. Go ahead. I'll wait. A penny dropped by someone from the Empire State Building could not kill them. Uh, it only reaches the terminal velocity of about 30 to 100 miles per hour. Yes, I did look that up, but I did know that it was the terminal velocity that wouldn't allow it to get up to the speed it would require to go through your skull and out your foot. Uh, it's going to hurt. It'll sting. And it's a real dick move. Uh, so just keep the change. There are only three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. This is not true. Because what the fuck is plasma? Plasma is a bunch of electrons moving around and, and shit happening. Even when it turns into a steam, it, does, it has different properties than a normal steam. If you want to learn more about plasma, don't come to me because I don't know shit about plasma. I know we got some that we can sell and I'm going to hit the hospital later, see if I can get a you know, pack of smokes and a cup of coffee, maybe a quarter gallon of gas. The Coriolis effect has no effect on your toilet. Even tornadoes are not affected by the Coriolis effect. It only affects large Gulf Stream type deals and oceans uh, uh, and currents and stuff like that. It doesn't affect, although there are certain places in the world where it does go differently, but it has nothing to do with the Coriolis effect or, or really where you live. It's maybe how your toilet's built. I don't fucking know. I don't know enough about toilets. You know what's funny, though? I was thinking about toilets this week. I went into the bathroom, as humans do, uh, to go pee. And as I looked down, I saw the plunger there, and I thought, we've had that plunger for a long time. Should I get a new plunger? I mean, ours works fine, but there's maybe there's a new modern technology I could purchase. I, I have snakes, you know, and I have, uh, you know, those drain things, the things that got the teeth on them, and they go into the drains, and they pull out the hair. Um, and all of those have been very effective, but uh, a plunger technology has not changed in, you know, however many years since it's been out. You know, you think about that initial the yeah this one you see it over here or over there wherever the fuck it is um you know that that that's that design hasn't really changed of course you know you get the bulbous ones and you get a few other variations of that and i'm a huge fan of ours that you know comes down it's got that little thing that'll sit right in uh if you've got a drain that size i think i don't know three inches or four inches which we don't but or or it'll cover in an air seal around a regular drain I know I'm overanalyzing this. I did a show about this once on forks and a few other things. Oh, the corn things. I can't even remember what they're called now, but I did look it up. It was a good show. It was totally <laughs> awesome. It lasted like three episodes. You should wash them. Um, I'll put them in the cards. Uh, but a plunger. A plunger is a funny thing. A plunger is one of those things that when you go into a store, everyone knows what it's for. You've clogged your toilet, most likely. You know, 75% of all plungers are probably purchased because you've clogged your toilet and you don't have a plunger. There's really no other intention. And I mean, sometimes, you know, your bathroom might get stopped up or you want to try it in the sink or something. But generally speaking, it is built for a toilet. And when you go into a store, when you bring that up to the register, they're like, oh, this guy fucking just <laughs> laid one down in the toilet. And it's, it's, a, it's a real snake of a deal. It's, it's not going up. It's not going down. He needs a plunger. Let's hope he comes back for a snake. They like to upsell you on that shit. Hey, oh, have you seen our snakes? They're right next to the plungers. <laughs> 
Snakes and plunges, snakes and plunges. Lightning never strikes twice in the same place. That is a dangerous myth because it often strikes in the same place. I don't know if it's a, the law of attraction, if it's like a metal thing, if it's a, you know, a, a source that the it's drawn to. But generally speaking, it can and does often hit the same spot. So if you ever get struck by lightning in a certain place, mark that down in your head because you're not going to want to stand there anymore, sonny boy. I'm sure I'm going to be a huge fan for this one. I'm sure you're all going to be, uh, you're all going to shit all over me in the comments, hopefully. Um, <laughs> I live to be shit on, not literally, figuratively. Uh, astrology is bullshit. <laughs> it was uh, a branch of science. So there was astronomy and astrology. Astrology got left out in the cold because it, it, science uses, um, oh, what is the term? Uh, well, it's basically going through the testing process. It has to be testable. It has to be, there's a certain criteria that you can, you have to meet to be considered a science or, or, or any theory in science. Um, what the fuck is the term? It doesn't matter what the term is, but astrology cannot, it's nothing that could be tested. Like your birthday has nothing to do with anything. You are a random child of nature. Your parents had sex nine months earlier or around nine months. And if you're a preemie, maybe it was eight months. Maybe it was seven months. With modern science and technology, you know, a baby has been known to live 22 weeks out of the womb. Isn't that crazy? Science. Science and technology science. Remember that. Bananas grow on my fingers. No. Bananas grow on trees. Nope. It is a banana plant and grow up to about 25 feet tall. And I think that's awesome because I love bananas. I love banana flavored things. I've talked about it so many times that if I tell you how much I love banana flavored things one more time, you may unsubscribe. And I, and I hope you don't because I appreciate your views. Banana milk. Go get some. It's delicious. Boring. Boring. Five senses. Yeah, apparently we, I think we talked about this. We have about nine senses. Uh, if you go to the sense of temperature, equilibrium, sense of balance, in conception, sense of one's psychological condition, these are all senses that we have. And there's probably quite a few more that we aren't completely aware of. Um, I'll let you know all about them. I'm doing a study. Um, here, let me try something right now. Okay. Telepathy. No, not telepathy. Uh, telekinesis. That's another one. You can mark that one down. Check. Take that one, fucking Professor X, you bitch. Human beings did not evolve from apes, but a similar type. It's, it's, it, technically, it's the missing link. Uh, I think it's like baboons, orangutans, us, maybe chimpanzees. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Evolved from a ape-like creature, but it wasn't quite the ape. It's like this. I'm as far beyond mutants as mutants are beyond you pitiful humans. Just kidding. You're not pitiful or pathetic or awful to each other. You're wonderful creatures of the earth. Now let's all take care of each other. Please. Give somebody a hug today. You should give somebody a hug. Yesterday I had this thing I wanted to do. I'll wrap this up with this because this is just, uh, maybe we'll hit another one. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how the rest of this conversation goes. We're at nine minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> I was at uh, Walmart yesterday. I had to get a few things. Um, and they were having a team meeting over near the cleaning products, where, which happened to be where I needed to go. And as I got closer, um, you probably have experienced this feeling growing up at some point. Maybe it was when you, you thought a girl was cute and you wanted to go talk to her and you're like, oh my God. Oh. Or like there was this moment, a similar moment, not that I wanted to talk to the manager or anything like that. There was probably about 10 employees there. And I thought, how fucking hilarious would it be if I just stop right now and be like, don't listen to him. He's fucking lying. Nope. No, he came up with all those numbers last night. <laughs> He's, it's all bullshit. <laughs> of course, you know, meaning, you know, make it funny. I didn't want to like hurt anybody's feelings or anything. I just thought no one's probably ever done that while they're sitting there trying to do their meeting. Maybe some people have come up and said, can you get the fuck out of my way? Because you're blocking like three aisles right now. But I thought it would have been funny. I just didn't have the guts to do it. And Carol wasn't around to film it. So <laughs> I'm a content whore. I whore myself out for content. Do you need anything done? Brought to you by the makers of the Iron Giant. I found another box of funny bones that I'd forgotten about. And I ate one. Not a whole one. Just half a one. Like, you know, the, you know, it's two in a package. I know you care. I know you care so much. There's the 10% of the brain when you... Mm -hmm. Animal myths. Bats are blind. 
No, they're not. They can totally see. They see in black and white. They don't see any uh, range of color. However, they probably see way better than us in the dark. Dummy. <laughs> Did you know that sharks don't get cancer? We should study them. Maybe we can mingle their DNA with our DNA. We'll become like Wolverine and we'll have a healing factor in fucking claws. No, they do get cancer. It's not very often. I mean, maybe they do. You know, I mean, I'm sure we're not studying every fucking shark in the ocean. You know, it could be a very high percentage of sharks that have cancer. But apparently the, the percentage of sharks that we do test found a very low rate of cancer, which is great. Good for you, sharks. You're doing something right. Probably not eating all these goddamn chemicals they're putting in our fucking foods. You know, let's take a look at the funny bones for a second. What is in a fucking funny bone? Oh, a little history there. Started in 1896, Newman Drake opens the N.E. Drake Baking Company in Harlem, New York City. Then over 1926, Drake's Devil Dogs burst onto the scene as a... Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Okay, so there's a cool history on here. I think I've already tried to read that once. Okay. I need to get a new prescription. Guess what the first ingredient is? Sugar. Sugar, water, enriched bleach flour, wheat flour, nicin, reduced iron, thymine. See, when you can't read a majority of the ingredients, you're putting stuff into your body that's, I'm not saying, I mean, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's crazy to think that these chemicals cause cancer, but it seems like the rate of cancer and our inability to cure cancer, plus marketing, is a nice way to keep control of the population, if you know what I mean. If I show up dead tomorrow, either Drake's came after me, or it was the government, or it could have been that ninja guild that's been looking for me for a while. So just keep those three in mind, okay? One more. I'll do one more, and then I'm going to let you go. Uh, earthworms. <laughs> Elephants are afraid of mice. Of course not. Goldfish have a three to seven second. Imagine having only a three to seven second memory. Sometimes I think I only have a three to seven second memory. Yesterday, I was, oh, I was talking to Corey. I think it was Corey. Jeff? I don't know. I was talking to somebody and literally, I mean like three seconds later, I was like, what the fuck were we just talking about? And I had to be reminded. I think that's just old age. I think it happens to people. I mean, it's, my mind's going. It's okay. I, I mean, I'd rather lose my mind first than my body. And, and that's not being vain or anything like that because, I mean, I could be very vain about this body. However, it sucks. Losing your mind sucks. And, and I saw my grandfather go through Alzheimer's and I, I didn't really like the man because he was terrible to my grandmother. Maybe I have to learn to forgive him for that. I, I forgive him. It's, it's, it's over. It's okay. It's cool. Uh, they're both dead. Who gives a shit? Um, see, I have no idea what I was just talking about. Three to seven seconds reminding me. Of uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting old. <laughs> Ducks quacks down echo bullshit. A mother bird. Da, 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 da. House flies twenty four hours. Okay. Da, da, da. All right. I'm gonna go over this one. I'm gonna read it to you too because I haven't read it yet. But I just stumbled across it, and I think it's one that is very important, especially for my wife to listen to. Dogs' mouths are cleaner than our mouths. Dogs' mouths are no cleaner than our mouths, and in fact, much dirtier than the human mouth. Dogs are known to transmit uh, rabies, tetanus, pasturella, and most any other contagious disease. Dog mouths are teeming with bacteria because they eat and lick all sorts of gross things like garbage, carcasses, and of course, poop. Since dogs don't have hands with opposable thumbs, they walk on all fours. They use their face and their mouth to do a lot of things that we would use our hands to do. A dog's mouth functions as its hands, its washcloth, its toilet paper, and so on. Next time you want to let a dog lick your face, remember where their mouths have been. And with that, I bid you a fair adieu. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, then please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put it on a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliver, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Podcast. Take care, and boy howdy. Ha, ha, ha.